Hello, I'm Skid, and welcome to episode 18 of my Elden Ring playthrough. That's why I finally have a frog in my throat. So yeah, this is not where we left off yesterday. We are back inside Limgrave Tunnels. Because I wanted to continue watching someone else's um, playthrough, and they decided to uh, come here. And the second they entered, I remembered. There was more in here. We knew there was more in here. I meant to come back and explore a bit more when I had the time. And I've watched back the videos. And I obviously saw my mistake, although how I managed to miss it three times is beyond me. The first time I missed it, I was kind of looking like this. My camera was in this angle, and this appears on the left-hand screen. So if you're watching 21 by 9 you may not have actually seen it. But it was in my peripheral vision, but I just didn't notice it. So yeah, there is another tunnel here. So we're going to go down this tunnel. Okay. We have one there. We have another one over there. One over there, wandering our way. Another one over there, who's now coming our way. Uh, how many magic flasks do we have? Okay, we've used one of our health flasks. So, hopefully, once we've killed all of these guys, we will, in fact, get... I probably shouldn't have used that now. I should have waited until I was about to go out and attack these guys. His backpack is... glowing. It makes me think that it's going to explode. But yeah, with this on, it almost kills them. It doesn't quite kill them. But it almost kills them. Glintstone scrap. Oh yeah, it's another spell. Isn't it? One thing I've noticed is the drawstring versions. You've seen me. Okay, fair enough. If you've seen me, then let's just go. Wasn't paying attention to um, the fact we had lost our spell. These guys do drop smithing stones, so we can farm them from here. Are they the only thing they drop? They are. We actually have a lot of them now. We can probably get all of our weapons to plus three. And that's what it does without magic. Make sure we haven't forgotten anything on the walls. These guys are still a little nasty. Okay, this is going all the way down, but it does look like there's an item over there. Turn that down, waiting for us. Fall off here. Fall off here. That's where the item is. That's a jump. Ooh! That might kill us. Ooh, we survived. We didn't get the item because we bounced off the wall. I do hate it when stuff like that happens. But maybe we can get it from the lift. There we go. Now we have to be mindful of the giant hole beneath us. Uh, was there anything else? That was just a candle. 
I think that was just a candle. I think we'll head back up the lift to confirm. Let's pull the lift back down. There's the boss room. So we are looking at that thing there. Yep, just a candle. Okay. Uh, we fully recharged our mana. Yeah, but we are down to a handful of pots. So yeah, what I was saying, uh, I think these drawstring versions of these um, don't last as long as the normal version. They just instantly apply. We can hear the thing behind here. Can we see the thing behind here? Big crystal dude. I think we're probably actually going to want um, Magic Blade up the second we get in there. Uh, do I want to heal now? I don't really have the pots. change tactic. Ooh. That hurt, but it didn't kill us. Camera got in the way a little. Oh, that's effective. <laughs> we can make loads of these. Vore medallion. What the hell is that? So yeah, he didn't hit anywhere near as hard as I was expecting him to. He was more, or the more issue with him was just um, getting past his defense. Because this is a piercing weapon and it was fucking bouncing off of him. I imagine what you need is a blunt weapon to be more effective against them. But still, he died. We survived. Let's have a look at the item we got. Uh, we've got a decent number of runes. We have enough. I don't think we have quite enough for everything I want to buy. I want to buy the remaining two spells and I want to get another spell slot. Is what I'd like to do. I doubt it's crafting material. It's not a smithing stone material, which makes it probably a key item. It's not a key item. Weapon? Or more accurately, um, probably a shield? Nope. Here it is, it's a talisman. Enhances roar and breath attacks. Ah, oh, good lord. I kinda... <laughs> I kinda wanna entirely flip my build on its head and go for the um, dragon stuff. Just so that I can stack it with that. And see how effective it is. Nah, we have decided on our build, we'll stick with it. Changing it at this point isn't going to result in much, and we've cleared more or less everything else. So, 
Let us return to the entrance. Is this going to take us all the way to the actual entrance so that I can teleport out? That would be the most convenient. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we can teleport from here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go grab those sorceries. Hmm, do we want to take on that caravan? That caravan still lives. No, nah, we'll, we'll leave it marked, but we'll do it later. There you are. Shall we commence the left? Yes, let's continue. I want to learn these two. Can't use that one yet. We can use this one, though. Your appetite for learning is impressive. You make me proud. To have grown little legs so readily. You must have a fabulous teacher. <laughs> I don't think she's been sincere with that um, boastful arrogance. It doesn't come across as that, um, the way she spoke it. If it was just in text, however, you may be reasonable to assume otherwise. Uh, so let's see. I already know what this does. This is actually kind of nice. It'll be good against large groups. But we want to know what this does. So, let's see. It goes on and on and on and on. How effective is this? Given that we are, our build is kind of skewed more towards melee, I might have that permanently on our bar. Uh, I assume we now have less than 3,000? Yeah, we need at least 3,000. Uh, let's head over to the round table hold, because that's where we need to get something from. So I think they are 3,000 apiece. They are. If I convert all of my things over at this point, it's going to be a lot is what it's going to be. Uh, it's not going to tell us. Uh, this is 200 times 40, 8,000. Let's just get the one more for now because we want to spend oh that was one too many um because we want to spend um some oh we can only buy the one here ah yeah there's one here and then i'm sure i can get one from somewhere else though i'll double check that in my um free time figure out where where i can get that other one from Because I'm fairly sure. Uh, do we want to upgrade the weapon now? No, let's... Ah, no, we, we have loads. Plus ten. took you for no matter it lay out your arm okay strength and armaments this normal oh no this needs a somber smithing stone but it does cost half as much uh oh that's equipped weapons when do we get a second dagger yeah um is it worth swapping out the main dagger for a parrying dagger Base damage is slightly lower. It also doesn't have the crit. But parry. But parry. If I can find a... Um, no, I think I want to keep my main dagger as something that has a high critical. Can we enchant the staff? We have it equipped. We can. Okay. So first things first. 
Get that done. Uh, let's get that up to three as well. Uh, that's going to cost, yeah, Smith and Stones two to get any higher. I'm not going to upgrade that one yet. While it is currently something I'm considering to use as my main build, I'd like to get a little bit further into the game before I start using Sombre Smithing Stones on a weapon that I may not end up using fully. And yeah, we, we're fairly sure we can get an unlimited amount of Smithing Stones, it's just going to take time to farm. So... With that in mind... That actually puts this uh, at about the same damage as that. Okay. And how many do we have left? We have six left. Smithing stone wands did we use? Why can't we? Needs four smithing stones ones. Oh, smithing stones two. Oh, we have used them all. <laughs> we did use them all. Okay, fair enough. Upgrade's done. Okay, so the plan today, after that 15 minute distraction, we have 30 minutes to try and clear out everything north of this road. But I say clear out explore and check everything north of this road. So let's find the point of the road's diversion, which I think... Oh, it was technically there, so we are technically already on this place. There's a giant. We've seen him. We've been up there. Mostly after the lower part. We could attempt to kill him. That was dumb, but we're fine. Uh, we could attempt to kill him. You're walking a bit quickly. Uh, what weapons do we have out? The right two. Oh, we forgot to uh, equip an extra... Um We're not going to get up behind him before he turns around, are we? Okay, I see another side of grace over there. You are going to turn around on the road? Yep. And jump. Okay. Technically, that is south of the road. Another staff. Now we don't need it. Yeah, this is south of the road. We'll grab this and have a quick look in here, but otherwise the primary objective is north of the road, not south. Ooh, a new fellow. Okay. So, for the sake of making this clear, for me mostly, we want to be up here. Up 
here, up here, up here, and then up here. And then we've also not checked any of this slot. We'll worry about those after we've made our next attempt on Margaret. But before any of that... Can I make it daytime? I should make it daytime so I could see. Warmaster's Shack. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? My faith hold firm. I'm not sure. Let's be let's be honest here. I'm not sure because I don't know whether or not I can trust the guidance of grace. Honest to a fault, I see. Such thoughts won't behoove you as a tarnished. But there's nothing wrong with that. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good tarnished like you. Learn skills. Nice. So, keen, heavy, 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 keen, keen, quality, standard, standard. So, keen. These are probably usable on daggers. No. May explicitly state. Heavy is definitely strength. Keen I would put it or peg as dexterity. We know quality seems to balance between the two. Don't know what standard does. Usable on daggered curved swords, art of war, parry. We should we should 100% buy that. Because then we can just put parry on any weapon we want. Um, usable on shields and torches. Oh, quick step as well. If we get both of those, then we can use the parrying dagger and swap out. Um parry if we want to if we want to usable on armaments capable of thrusting uh, we already actually have this so yeah keen must be dex based scaling oh yeah I remember I remember spinning slash I can't remember which weapon we had that did it but I remember it but a lot of this is all sort of the... These are also like the basic ones you can get. So the ones that come on most weapons. Usable in daggers, curved sword, fusting swords, fists and claws. Parry. And small and medium shields. Let's get parry and quick step. So that we can swap them in and out for on our main weapon. Art of War, Stormblade, usable in swords, colossal weapons, and twin blades accepted. Quality. And yes, standard. I'll have a sit down with the, um, uh, the good lord, Sight of Grace. Bonfires is such an easier thing to remember. Uh, at the minute we don't have something that we can really, we really want to be... Or well, we don't have a rapier that we'd want to replace this with. So we'll keep it with those two at the time being. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle. Lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword. And the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Well, thank you. I am very glad to have met you. Well, until we meet again. Likewise. Uh, let's just make sure there isn't anything else on or around this place. Nope. 
Okay, so if we come to Ashes of War, and we go to the dagger, the dagger comes with um, Quick Step. Oh! We can give Quick Step to something that has Quick Step and improve its scaling. <laughs> I didn't realise that was a thing. Um, okay, so if it's standard, it doesn't give any benefit to your scalings. Um, there's literally zero reason for us not to do this. Because we're just applying the same thing on top of it, in which case we should get Impaling first and apply it to this to again improve its deck space scaling. Because that's where we're going to get most of our damage from. While we don't have much dex at the minute, we will do eventually. Ah, uh, hello. Here to learn a battle. Uh, just the one. I want this one. Well. Until we meet again. Indeed. I don't know whether or not this is optimal. Uh, let's actually pay slightly more attention to um, the damage values this time around. Because on the dagger, it was going from D... D strength to E strength, and then B. We definitely increased our secondary stats, uh, or our scaled stats. So let's see, we lose 11 from the physical side, and we gain 10 on the bonus damage side. So we are losing a slight amount, but we will immediately start gaining that back the second we start pumping more than... Um, Uh, the second we start putting more... Oh, words. Uh, leveling decks more. And we can always just swap it out for this if we want to add blood loss build-up to it. But I don't think we will, because we, we, I kind of want to keep and I want to be able to master having... Um, a quick step. Because there are invulnerability frames in Quick Step. So let's just get our mana back and then be mindful of the time because Margriff is waiting for us and we did say, we did promise Margriff a fight today. Uh, so let's head straight north. Um, no, let's make it daytime. I'm not wandering through here at night. Mist was one thing, but the wind in the mist is quite another. One second, I'm just going to adjust my microphone position because it seems to be too far over to my left. And that's me elbowing my... the other side of my L-shaped desk. Um, past time, till morning. Admittedly, there are definitely reasons to be out and about at night. Because some things definitely spawn at night which don't spawn at any other time. Uh, can you... They've seen you. Can you get up? Thank you. These are actually good targets to be practicing this on, so I really should be. I see something up there, but I don't know whether or not they're animals. Yeah, that's just a boar. Okay, let's... Okay, there's something over there, but that's on the road. That's not part of our exploration path. Ooh. 
wait, what are you doing here? Here, friend. There's not an ever ghoul ever jail around here. Um, isn't this just where big guy is? Yeah, just big guy up here. So why is there one of the guardians of the Everjails around here? So, they explode. Good to know. I mean, this one doesn't appear to particularly care. But yeah, the other one just blew up in my face. Uh, okay, so... That's everything here. Let's get up top. At least there's more visibility up top, so hopefully this won't take as long. Should be careful some of these will come to life that is a lot of butterflies but that is also Task for later. Hmm. My. P Thank you, whatever or whoever you are. Theoretically, it shouldn't be able to see me if I sneak up from this side, but... Hey, it's on the Smith and Stone. Okay, I don't think he looks too nasty. I think it's... I am very concerned about the weapon he's using. Okay, so... These butterflies are kind of important. How much of this area will actually kill us? Fire slugs. So this is just a place we can farm smoldering butterflies. Which is nice. Have, uh, let's make a mark of this location. Uh, let's mark it as loot. And hopefully we'll remember that when we need smoldering butterflies we can come here. I wonder how that works on horseback.
How effective is this on horseback? Not very. And we can only attack on the left hand side. So with that in mind... F your shield. <laughs> oh! If only we was going faith-based. God damn it, game. More faith-based stuff. Uh, actually, we can have a look at that while we're in our inventory. Um, what would it be? It's under Art of Wars. Gone past it. There it is. Gordon Val, passed down. Uh, raise armaments aloft and pledge your honour to the old tree in battle, uh, granting itself in nearby allying allies increasing attack and defence. So basically just general, it's just a general buff. Okay, so the next thing is down here. Okay, what can we see down here? Not much. Which in and of itself is concerning. Because there being not much here implies that something is going to appear here. Why, hello! Ah! We need a dude that points his finger. We need to get over to there. Let's have a word with this guy. Unthinkable, our hallowed resting place is violated. And the refuge of the air tree calls to return to live within death. Sickening. I think I read that wrong. Okay. Oh, I see people. Are any of you going to come alive? I would like to know. Those guys I didn't see. That's a lot of them. Yeah, I straight up didn't see them sitting there. Saw the other guys. No, they were well blended in. And that is death. Okay.
I mean, if you want to kill yourself, that's fine with me. Let's deal with him first. Let's be mindful of our health. Unlock for a second. I like this attack. Okay. Um, we're 40 minutes in. I want to kind of activate this and get in there. Can we do this in five minutes? How do we get up there? Uh, where's the entrance to? Okay. Camp. Let's go around the camp. Here's the way up. Well, a way up. We'll count all of this as unexplored and we will come back here later. But for the sake of getting in there. Can we get up there? It does look like it. Touch catacombs. We're not going to do anything in here. We just want to... Lost Grace. Is that rumbling outside? It is. Someone has their engine idling. Hopefully you can't hear it. My mic's relatively good at not picking up anything. And it gets louder. Immediately in front of it. Okay, so we forgot to memorize spells, add the extra spell. Let's make sure that one is... Uh, yeah. Poison Mist. Support incantations, offensive incantations, support sorceries, offensive sorceries. Um, what I want to do is... I want that one there, and then I want that one. Um, fires. it costs more. I've not actually used this spell in combat. And then these two we don't currently have enough int to use. Um, yeah, we'll use it because getting off one spell is probably going to be easier in a boss fight than getting off many, and we'll have to take, Mar uh, take on Margriff. Okay, we've put this off long enough. Let us mark, or more accurately, unmark, and then mark. Let's head over to where Margriff waits. The weapon loadout we have is acceptable. Let's change that for this. Hmm, we got four of these now. Not that we need them. Uh, this does look like it's... Um, so the plan is basically use this, then that, after, it's a uh, after he's at 50% health, and see how much damage we can do just waiting on him with um, our double daggers. We're going to start the fight with this uh, and see how well that goes. What I will likely do is burn through one entire stack of mana. Um, we're going to cast Jellyfish, we're going to cast Sword. Um, I will then cast one of the... or I'll then probably cast one or two more things to drain the rest of my mana. Get enough space to heal my mana. 
or recover my mana, and then swap to a more melee focused build. Okay, random sorcerer. Unfortunately, you're unnamed, so I don't think you have a quest attached to you, but... We want to kill him this time. Okay, we want to be E4. That is a pretty sword. Okay, so summon ashes first. Have a mana. To get him over here. Did that not work? So I think we need to be close by him for that stone to work on him. I don't think the... We basically took damage that we could have avoided there. It was easily dodgeable. We just forgot his attack speed and we wasn't quite ready with everything. I was hoping the blood loss would trigger quicker. Um, let me reorder things. Let me put that there and that afterwards so we can use that then immediately use that um i don't know whether or not they're going to be any good let's remove those let's keep we'll keep that on and we'll throw a couple and we'll see how much they do i am more than happy to use every tool at my disposable to do as much damage as possible Okay. Can you not give him opportunity to attack two things at once? Heal, heal, heal. Heal that as well.
I'm out of healing items. I need to be closer if I want to be using this particular build, but we didn't get blood loss, but we also didn't get that many hits off on him. I need to pay a little bit more attention as to how much damage we're actually doing with these daggers. Uh, we also didn't try throwing those pots at him, but that thing didn't do anything. Briefly binds Margaret, uh, once imprisoned to Earth. Though faint, the shackles still remain to message transmit. It didn't do anything at all. Twice now it hasn't done anything. And we used the, the second time directly on top of it. Actually do anything? Finally, we got a blood loss block. Gotcha! Talisman Pack. So what the hell does this do? <laughs> I imagine we have not seen the last of him. We only got one blood loss proc off. I'd like to watch that back into... Hey, game, can you stop crackling, please? Uh, one sec. Let's see. I'm just going to reset um, voice meter. No, that's in-game. Uh, does she want to talk to me? She does not. But we can now equip another talisman, if we so choose. Storm Bale Castle. This is a task for tomorrow.
Maybe. Assuming we want to push ahead. We didn't get, um... We would need to have got a Grand Soul or whatever the hell it was. Um... Or Shard of the Elden Ring, which we haven't got yet. So we'd have to kill Godric for some of the things back at the round table to um, activate. But anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. We got Margaret dead on our third attempt today. Uh, seventh, eighth attempt total? Somewhere there or thereabouts? Using all of our tools at our disposal, one of which didn't seem to work at all. It did nothing. Oh, it says up there, reusable. Duh. I should pay more attention. But why didn't it work? The only thing I can think of is that's not the last time we've seen of him, and this is an item we'll need for later. It's the only thing that comes to mind. Anyway, um, let's take it off for now. We've used all of those. Do we have? Uh, not yet. I'll craft some more in my own time, but let's remove that. Craft some more of these, because they're... Um, I'll figure out the crafting in my own time. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Um, I'll figure out what we're going to do next episode between uh, this episode and next, whether I want to finish exploring outside the castle or whether we want to go into the castle now that Markriff is dead. Um, maybe both. We'll see. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the show and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheerio.